Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders with me, Get Dave Dio. We're going on one quick mission. We're going to recover some grass so we can build the stupid hammerhood, a stupid garden. And we're probably going to die trying, so I hope he's happy. All for an ambiguous reward. Okay, you know what? Come on. I'll kill all of you. So I love many things in this game. But one thing I don't love is ghosts. Who needs them? If that offends you, good. Who needs you? Alright, I'm just speaking out of hurt now. But I'll say this. Uh, a lot of Dragon Quest games, at nighttime, the monsters don't, don't really get uh, discernibly stronger. Um, in, in this one, they certainly get significantly more violent anyway, and I don't like that. But what I do like is steak. Wow, oh, you want to live. Alright, I was willing to make that jump, by the way. Thanks for coming out. Alright, so I needed to just make sure I had enough sand grass. We might have a little trouble tracking down all the flower. Hi, I drink your milkshake. Not tracking down all the supplies we need. Eh, we'll find out, right? In it. Could go to bed and get rid of the dreaded night, but I'd rather keep complaining about ghosts. Thank you very much. And we've got my Navaglobe to help me. Man, I never would have discovered any of this had I not uh, decided to go for a uh, certain bed that everybody in their cat in the comments section has been telling me about. Oh, daybreak. Thank Rubus, am I right? Lore fans. Alright, we can see my glorious bridge off in the distance. Here's a life pro tip. Mark it with a flame, if not a Navaglobe as well. That way you can find it at night. Yeah? Yeah, you guys wanna go? Put my back to a cliff to fight you. And you. Alright, now we can get on with planting flowers. Which is what it's all about. I've mentioned this several times, but there's a tiny bit of input lag. It makes this sort of thing extra scary. Uh, our food situation, we're getting a little, little rumbly in the tumbly, but... Uh, we can get down to 10% or 20%. One loaf worth of hunger. Before it becomes a thing. Alright. I'm not running all the way. Ouch. Just moving on to other things. All right, we need one of the pink flowers. Let's, uh, let me get my trowel. Not gonna need you ever. All right, the flowers were on the other screen. I saw them, but let's just be sure. There's also some desert grass we'll need. I'm not sure if we need actual grass. Also, if I'm trying to like help this guy become a good gardener, that's not exactly gonna happen by me doing all the gardening for him. I mean, you gotta scaffold that education.
Oh, he's got medicinal. Oh, we don't need you ruining things. Well, I'm gonna feel bad if I uh, need to plant some mushrooms in there. Should probably get the old shovel out just to avoid any possible misunderstandings. Really? Not a single medicinal herb bush? Bueller? Hmm. Now, this is not the easiest way to spot them, at least for me. There's probably someone in the comments section with eagle eyes who is like, I found five! Give yourself... Ooh, 10 get Dave points. Yeah, only 10. Quite frankly, none of us are in the mood for your bragging. But you can give yourself a gold star too. You can take that to the bank. That's a get Dave promise. So, fun thing about bread. There we go. No, those aren't the bushes. Uh, there's a cave. We have to take a moment to explore this. I'd be very disappointed if this is where we found the map, but I really don't think so. Maybe this will lead to an exciting new recipe. Or plants. It's a nice thing about this game. It's okay to get lost. Um. Although this appears appears to be nothing. Well, take this surprisingly useless silver. If he goes his way, that's fine with me. Okay, you know what? Oh, great. Wait. This actually might be where I got the map. I thought I was on the wrong coast. I don't know anymore. I've been wandering for so long, I've forgotten where my home is. Alright, plan B. We were ultimately going to go to the castle. Which I'm pretty sure is to the west. Let's check the old world map for... Oh no, just hard west. No matter what. Okay. We're going to head there first. And the reason why is because there's something I need to pick up there anyway. And it gives us a journey with sweet, sweet purpose. And you know what? We'll probably find what we need along the way. These sorts of things always tend to work themselves out. I'm just a happy-go-lucky let's player. Okay, we've reached the castle. All right. People are really good about making uh, bread on their own, but oh, there we go. Jack and pot. We'll grab the flowers, because you know what? They're here. Really. So if you angle up on your attacks, sometimes it makes it a little bit harder to hit your target. My first stalwart plant. I guess I have uh, cut them down lots. Also, not a fan how they put wart on everything. Okay, item one. Thank you. Om nom 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 nom. Yeah, medicinal shrub, I bet. Helps my night blindness. 
Tell it to the judge. Hmm. Another cave to nowhere. Well, that's all well and good. Gotta be careful not to step on him or he will get feisty with me. Alright, I think that is the last thing we need. And then a bunch of people were like, Dave, you missed out on a really good thing in the castle. So we'll try to do a little bit more smashing of the place. Yeah, look at this. A comfy stool. A dressing table and a king-sized bed. Also, apparently pressing R3 is really good for camera angles and stuff. Uh, I think that was pretty much just the thing to find. Weird that that room wasn't enclosed in any way. Hey, I'm not taking you seriously. Watch this. Okay, fine. You happy? You got your wish. I fought you. Man. If that isn't a metaphor for certain junior high situations, I don't know what is. I had this one guy when I was in grade 9. He just wanted to fight me. Never really understood why. Eventually I obliged him, because... I don't know. I was but a kid, but, uh... Never really understood. Let's have a burger. Let's all talk through some of our baggage. I actually don't have that much baggage over it. I'm at peace with what happened. I won. Oh, this is awkward. As I was just discussing my violent past. All right, there we go. Got a bunch of flowers now. I'm collecting some extra flowers because we will need them eventually, and we'll need the grass too. So this actually has some additional purpose. And I had contemplated, you know, beautifying the city and all that as well. You know, art and crap. There you go. Alright, back to the garden. Hopefully it's day by the time we get there. Oh my goodness. Oh, we almost had the perfect stare up. That would have been something to write home about, folks. Hey, folks, get Dave to... Oh, here? Gonna take a look at what's in front of me rather than just my compass in the top right corner. Now, this has been a very elaborate journey, but you know what? We got a king-size bed out of it. globe really so far away? Guess we went on a bit more of a journey than I remembered. And we probably aren't gonna, there we go, we probably aren't gonna come back to, uh, sure. If you want me, you know where to find me. I'm afraid you'll find my armor is better than uh, when we first met so long ago in video 2 or whatever it was. Okay. We got the king-sized bed, which is what I came here for way back originally. Now let's do some really, really sensible gardening. Um, I'm probably just going to stick a shovel to all of it, don't you think? Alright, 
Perfect. We did not nick the innocent flower I did not wish to hit. And twofer. I shall build a fine garden around you. Okay. You'll prickly peach cactus, which is the name of my best move. It also sounds like the name of, like, a 1930s boxer. Some guy who, I don't know, fought Joe Lewis once. Joe Lewis was the 30s, right? 30s and 40s? I don't know. If any of you know a ton about Joe Lewis, why don't you share? He was a cool dude. And we don't need any ivy at all. Okay. Medicinal bush. Nice feedback from the game telling us we've been making good decisions as well. Just a little bit of grass. Oh, hey, and the desert grass was in the right spot. The whole start of the video was unnecessary. Yeah, but you're a delegator. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a stick. Mm-hmm. A bench. Really? Okay. Wow, I feel bad about uh, click spamming through your thing now. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. A Hammerton hothouse. Well, that could be something. All right, let's do a quick quest around the base. Or you know what? I asked people a little while ago about uh, what sort of videos they prefer. And I was worried that maybe people would get bored with some of the monotonous aspects of building, but people were super into it, so oh boy, we're almost full up on crap. Some of the stuff we can... wow. I guess I'll hold on to that. Probably place some of it, I think. Alright. Our king-size bed. Thank you. We'll recover a straw mattress. Yeah, yeah, we can do some good stuff here. Or does it turn into an awesome room? Boom. Fancy bed, chair. Yeah, people are pumped. It was entirely gratuitous, but that's fine. If we actually make more space for uh, beds, we could get a little bit better of a in status in here. But I'm not going to worry about that because we can only make straw mattresses in Cantlin anyway. All right, the Roosh, old Captain Smiley himself. What you got for me? Building that furnace. Hmm, we should hang out all along it. All right, if your sense of urgency is, uh, you know, feeling more urgent all of a sudden, it's because we are kind of entering that phase. 
We're nearing the end, after all. Uh, do I have a brassiere on hand? Nope. We're gonna have to go make one. Again, totally talking about a fire thing. I'm getting a little worried about my inventory. We're, uh, full up. Oh, you know what? We're gonna build four of these. Because we're missing a lovely aesthetic addition we can make. Just to mark out the town a little bit better. Maybe it'll be more visible from the night sky. And now the monsters will know where to find us, which is, you know, what it's all about, really. Hmm, that could be interesting. Alright, we've got the earth, we've got the ivy. Take out, one, two, three, four. All right, right back. We don't have stone steps and we need those. Gonna double check the count, I believe it's four. Yep. I went right past it, it's okay. He'll figure it out, folks. Don't you worry about that Get Daved fellow. He's as sharp as a tack. Sure, I'll take four. I probably had some in my inventory as well. All right, now we make a closer look at it. A little nice one, two, three. Yeah, it could be smoother what I'm doing, what of it? All right, we still have to place. And I believe right here, there we go. Hmm, not quite what I had in mind. Darn it. Uh, the sledgehammer, it's uh, nice and strong. Some monsters appeared. It's actually kind of annoying. They could reasonably trash the place. Oh, Ken has got this. Uh, there's a, there's a jerk face McGee. Get the shovel. Okay, those are by far the most dangerous enemies. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to undo my handiwork briefly. We wouldn't have been able to reach that. Actually, you know what? We'll go about it a different way. We're doing this tonight. I'm not gonna wait. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, LaRouche, you get your wish. Great success. Not half bad. Now we can watch the golem come destroy the place. Yeah, I had a feeling. But why? I 
I guess that's the Dragon Lord. Oh, it's the Golem. Sure. Alright, everybody, we're gonna desert in the next episode. Thanks for watching.